Hello, and welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Tonight's contenders will be answering questions on 40 years of the Oscars, the man who cleaned up London, two cities transformed by the Industrial Revolution and the gods of ancient Greece. Big subjects to swat up on and all condensed into just two minutes of questions. Our four contenders get a little more time, 30 seconds extra, to tell us what they know about everything else, and it's that, the general knowledge round, that they fear the most. The prize for the winner, a place in the semi-final. So let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. Your name is? Jodie Underhay. Your occupation? Procurement officer. And your chosen subject? Best Picture Academy Award winners, 1928 to 1970. All in two minutes. Starting now, which X-rated film won the Best Picture Oscar at the Academy Award ceremony in 1970? Patton. Midnight Cowboy. Bridge on the River Kwai and Lawrence of Arabia both won Best Picture Awards. Who directed both films? David Lean. Yes. Which 1939 film beat Goodbye Mr Chips, Stagecoach and The Wizard of Oz to win Best Picture? Gone with the Wind. Yes. Fred Zinnemann's 1953 Best Picture winning film, From Here to Eternity, is set in an American army camp in the months leading up to what military action on the 7th of December 1941? Pearl Harbour. Yes. In which film does Greta Garbo, in the role of the Russian ballerina Gruzinskaya, speak the words, I want to be alone? <laughs> Grant Hotel. Yes. Which founder member of the Angry Young Men School of Writing won the Best Adapted Screenplay Oscar in 1964 for Tom Jones, which also won Best Picture? John Osborne. Yep. What film that inspired the sequels, They Call Me Mr Tibbs and The Organisation, was the first detective mystery to win the Best Picture Oscar? In the Heat of the Night. Yep. What was the name of the photographer and designer who won costume design Oscars for Gigi and My Fair Lady? Both films were also named Best Picture. Cecil Beaton. Yes. Which film won a record 11 Academy Awards, including Best Picture? Titanic equaled it in 1998. Ben-Hur. Yes. John Ford won Oscars for directing four films, only one of which also won the award for Best Picture in 1942. Which film? How Green Was My Valley. Correct. What was the name of the producer of Around the World in 80 Days who collected the film's Best Picture Oscar at the ceremony in March 1957? Mike Todd. Yep. For what Best Picture winning film were Charles Lawton, Clark Gable and Franchot Tone all nominated for the Best Picture? Actor Oscar. Mutiny on the Bounty. Yep. What is the title of the first film to win Academy Awards for actor, actress, directing and writing, as well as being named Best Picture in 1935? It happened one night. Yes. Rival gangs named the Jets and the Sharks fight it out on the streets of New York City in which Best Picture winning musical? West Side Story. Yes. What was the first non-American film to win the award in 1949? It was made by Two Cities Films, part of the J. Arthur Rank organisation. Hamlet. Hamlet is correct. No passes, Jodie. You've scored 14 points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. <laughs> and your name is? Nifty Jamaldeen. Your occupation? Uh, customer experience manager. And your chosen subject? Greek mythology. The gods and goddesses of ancient Greece in two minutes. Starting now, what was the name of the king of Sipolis who betrayed the gods' secrets and was punished by being suspended eternally between water that retreats from him and fruit that is out of reach? Sisyphus. Tantalus. What collective name was given to the group of voyagers in Greek mythology that included Zetes, Mopsus, Canthus and Iphitus? Titans. The Argonauts. Which serpent-tailed monster, the offspring of Echidna, was killed by Bellerophon with the help of the winged horse Pegasus? Chimera. Yes. Whom did Exion, king of Thessaly, try to seduce? As a punishment, Zeus had him bound to a wheel for eternity. Hera. Yes. Which son of Zeus and Electra was said to have founded the first settlement in the foothills of Mount Ida and named it after himself? Pass. What name, meaning mad women, was given to the wild followers of Dionysus whose savage actions included tearing the hero Orpheus limb from limb? Naiads. No, Minads. In which river was there said to be gold deposits because it was where King Midas washed away the curse of the golden touch? Pass. The sea god Poseidon was associated with what symbolic weapon? 
trident. Yes, the enchantress Medea persuaded the daughters of the king of Iolcos to cut up their father and boil him in a cauldron in the belief that he would recover. What was his name? Pass. Which god was born weak and lame and discarded at birth by his mother Hera, but returned to Olympus as a smith and craftsman of superlative skill? Hephaestus. Yes. Who did the Greek poet Hesiod say was created by Hephaestus, delivered to humanity by Hermes, and married to Epimetheus, the brother of Prometheus? Pandora. Yes. To which island did Zeus, in the form of a bull, take the Phoenician princess Europa? She gave birth to three sons there. Crete. Yes. What was the collective name for the group of ill-fated champions that included Amphiarios, Hippomaden, and Capaneus? Pass. Who was the first mortal prophet who understood the language of snakes and woodworms? He was the brother of Bias. Caius. Melampus. Yep. Four passes, Nifty. Seven against Thebes was the collective name for those uh, ill-fated champions. The name of that poor chap who was uh, cut into pieces and boiled in a cauldron all for his own good, seemingly, was Polias. That river where there were said to be gold deposits, where King Midas was going to wash away the curse, was River Factolus. And the son of Zeus and Electra, said to have founded the first settlement, was Dardanus. And I can only apologise if all my pronunciations were incorrect. But, however, you've scored nifty six points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. Your name is? Sarah Skelton. Your occupation? Teacher. Chosen subject? The life and work of Joseph Bazalgette. A great civil engineer without whom Victorian Londoners might not have had sewers. Two minutes on him, starting now. In which country of the United Kingdom did Bazalgette begin his career as a resident engineer engaged in land drainage and reclamation? Northern Ireland. Yes, between 1832 and 1866 there were four outbreaks in London of a disease carried by polluted drinking water. Which disease? Cholera. Yeah. Bazalgette began to learn his trade at the age of 17 under the guidance of an eminent Irish civil engineer. What was his name? Sir John McNeil. Yes. Which public health activist recommended improvements in his report on the sanitary condition of the labouring population in 1842? John Snow. No, Edwin Chadwick. In 1849, over 100 plans to combat London's sewerage problem were submitted and later examined by Basil Jett with his assistant surveyor at the time. What was his name? Frank Forster. Edward Creasy. Which professional body was Joseph Basil Jett made a full member of in February 1846 and president in 1883? The Institute of Civil Engineers. Yes. In 1858, which future Prime Minister tabled an amendment to the Metropolis Local Management Act that enabled Bazalgette's proposed reforms to go ahead? Disraeli. Yes. What was the name of Bazalgette's son, who also became a civil engineer, and travelled to Mauritius in 1869 to carry out field work on his father's behalf? Joseph. Edward. What strong waterproof cement did Bazalgette use extensively after he'd put in place a regime of quality checks carried out by his assistant, John Grant? Portland. Yes. What free ferry service across the Thames was introduced in 1889 at the behest of Bazalgette? Greenwich. Woolwich Ferry. Bazalgette built three embankments in London, the Victoria and Albert are two. What's the name of the other one? Chelsea. Yes. For which European city did Bazalgette produce a major drainage report in 1869? Budapest. Yes, Pest. What order of chivalry was bestowed on Bazalgette three years before he was knighted by Queen Victoria? A pass. What specific bricks did Bazalgette insist were to be used by the contractor, Furness, on the contract for the northern drainage system? Staffordshire Blues. Yes. In 1878, when a pleasure boat sank on the Thames at Woolwich near a sewage outfall, it highlighted that the river was still in a poor state, even with Bazalgette's improvements. What was the boat called? Princess Alice. Yes, it was indeed. You had just one pass, Sarah. Before he was knighted by Victoria, he got the Order of the Bath. Ah. Yep, so there we are. Sarah, you've scored ten points. <laughs> and our final contender, please. And your name is? Pat Williamson. Your occupation? Retired solicitor. And your chosen subject? Uh, the history of Manchester and Salford. 
Two proud cities separated by the River Irwell. Here we go, two minutes. Which nightclub and music venue opened in 1982 in a disused warehouse on Whitworth Street West? It was part owned by the band New Order. The Hacienda. Yes, in 1806, which Salford Street became the first in Britain to be lit by gas lighting? Chapel Street. Yep. Which building housed Salford's first free public library? It opened in 1850. Um, the City Art Gallery and Library. The Lark Hill Mansion. What major international sporting event was hosted by Manchester in 2002? The main venue was built at Eastlands. The Commonwealth Games. Yes, which Scottish chemist, later nicknamed Paraffin, helped to found the Manchester Examiner newspaper in 1846? Um, pass. In 1903, the Women's Social and Political Union was founded at a meeting in the Nelson Street home of which Manchester family? Pankhurst. Yes. What Grade 1 listed house in Salford was the seat of the Radcliffe family from around 1335 till 1662? According to legend, Robert Catesby and Guy Fawkes met there to plan the gunpowder plot. Odsall Hall. Yes. Which canal opened in the early 1760s and was designed by James Brindley to carry coal from Worsley to Manchester? The Bridgewater Canal. Yes. Whose cookery book, entitled The Experienced English Housekeeper, was published in 1769? She later compiled a directory of Manchester and Salford. Elizabeth Raffold. Yes. Which scientist, born in Salford in 1818, demonstrated that heat is a form of energy? The SI unit of work, or energy, is named after him. J.P. Jewell. Yes, James Jewell. Who was the editor of the Manchester Guardian from 1872 to 1929? Uh, Scott. Yes, C.P. Scott. The Peterloo Massacre of 1819 occurred when a mass meeting was broken up by armed troops who tried to arrest the main speaker. What was his name? Um, William Hunt. Yes, Henry Hunt. Which building, designed by Edward Walters in the mid-1850s on the site of the Peterloo Massacre, was the venue for a 1966 concert at which Bob Dylan was heckled for playing electric guitar? The Free Trade Hall. Yep. In the mid-1720s, which writer described Manchester as one of the greatest, if not the greatest, mere village in England in reference to the town's antiquated system of local government? Daniel Defoe. He is correct. One pass, that Scottish chemist who became known as Paraffin, founded the Manchester Examiner, was James Young. Pat, you have scored 11 points. <laughs> Now it is time to invite all our contenders back into the studio together. <laughs> and it is the general knowledge round now. Two and a half minutes of questions this time. And if there's a tie at the end of it, the person with the fewer passes will be the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, there has to be a tie break. And do remember the contenders do not know what each other has scored. So, for everyone at home, let's have a look at all the scores. As always, we start with the contender with the lower score. So, let's ask Nifty. And you start out with six points, two and a half minutes of general knowledge. So, here we go. LAX is the IATA code of which American city's international airport? Los Angeles. Yes. By what French name is the third movement of Debussy's Suite Bergamesque for piano usually known? Pass. According to the Gospel of Luke, Jesus is descended from a king of Israel who ruled from about 1001 BC to 968 BC. Which king? Solomon. No, King David. What publication is Phyllis Pearsall credited with devising in 1936? She claims she rose at 5 a.m. and walked for up to 18 hours a day until she had covered London's 23,000 streets. Uh, pass. What name is shared by a small marine snail with a spiral shell and a common evergreen ground cover plant with blue flowers? Lilac. Periwinkle. Who held the post of US Attorney General from 1961 to 1963 during the presidency of his brother? He remained in the post until September 1964. Pass. In what sports 57 kilogram category did Britain's Jade Jones win a gold medal at the 2012 London Olympics and repeat the feat at Rio? Boxing. Taekwondo. What 1961 Disney animated film is based on a story by Dodie Smith? And it's about a woman who steals dogs to make their skins into a fur coat. It was remade as a live action film in 1996. 101 Dalmatians. Yes. In which northern city did the National Railway Museum open in 1975? London. York. What name of Russian origin is given to the small pancakes commonly served with caviar and sour cream? 
Pierogi. Pliny's, who wrote the novel City of Friends, first published in 2017, which tells the story of four women in their late 40s who first became friends while they were studying economics at university. It's her 20th book. Sex and the City. Joanna Trollope, what is the title of the song that gave Ed Sheeran the 2017 UK Christmas number no. one? One of the released versions of the song was a duet with Beyonce. Uh, pass. Whose birthday is celebrated every January in Dumfries with a week-long festival of dance, theatre, comedy and live art? Pass. The Galapagos Islands are a province of which country? Bermuda. Ecuador. What novel by Jerome K. Jerome about a voyage along the Thames has the subtitle To Say Nothing of the Dog? Pass. The dramatic ending of an episode in an adventure series designed to retain the interest of an audience is known by what term? Epilogue. Cliffhanger. What is the title of the Chief Administrative Officer of the United Nations? Uh, pass. Oh, I can tell you right of time. Secretary General. That novel, Jerome K. Jerome, Three Men in a Boat, Robert Burns celebrates his birthday in January. Perfect was the title of the song that gave Sheeran the big hit. Bobby Kennedy was Attorney General in the United States. The London A to Z was the reason why Phyllis Pierselman walked for up to 18 hours a day. And the uh, French name for the third moon of Debussy's sweet bugamess, Claire de Lune. You have now a total nifty of eight points. <laughs> and next, Sarah, please. And... Uh, you, Sarah, start out with ten points. Here we go with your general knowledge. What salad ingredient, it's usually red, has varieties called yellow perfection and sun gold? Tomato sauce. Yes, the adjective olfactory relates to which of the senses? Smell. Yes. Which group had their biggest UK hit in March 1984 when they reached number two with the double A sides Joanna and Tonight? Toto. Cool and the Gang. Which country was known in medieval Europe as Cathay? Malaysia. China. What species of deer was introduced into the Cairngorms in 1952 by the Swede Mikkel Utsi and his wife Ethel Lindgren? The subarctic qualities of the mountains have enabled the herd to thrive. Reindeer. Yes. What name of French origin is given to the professional cosmetic treatment of the hands and fingernails? Manicure. Yeah. Who plays the upper-class but impoverished widow, Audrey Forbes Hamilton, in the television comedy series To the Manor Born? Penelope Keith. Yes. The first national parliament to give women the vote in a general election was the parliament of an island that is a British self-governing crown dependency in 1881. Which island? The Isle of Man. Yes. The green stalk of what aromatic plant of the Parsley family can be candied and used in cake decoration? Angelica. Yes. Whose novel, Maurice, written between 1913 and 14 for private circulation, was first published in 1971, the year after the author's death? Pass. Which alien comedy was relocated to the American Deep South by the Coen brothers in 2004, with Tom Hanks in the Alec Guinness role of a master criminal who plans a robbery under the nose of his landlady? The Lavender Hill Mob. The Lady Killers. What London building did Joseph Paxton base on the Lily House at Chatsworth that he'd built for the Duke of Devonshire? Sorry, can you repeat the question? What London building did Joseph Paxton base on the Lily House at Chatsworth that he had built for the Duke of Devonshire? Crystal Palace. Yes. Which Hampshire town has hosted a biennial international air show since 1948? Farnborough. Yep. The Sea of Marmara is an inland sea that lies entirely within the borders of what country? Russia. Turkey. Which Australian spin bowler produced the so-called ball of the century to dismiss Mike Gatting with his first ball against England in 1993? Shane Warne. Yep. What is the title of the novel by Nick Hornby about a record shop owner whose girlfriend just left him? It was adapted for the cinema in 2000 and later made into a musical. About a boy. High fidelity. The name for what religious group that has a long tradition of pacifism was, according to the group's founder, coined in 1650 by Justice Bennett of Derby because we bid them tremble at the word of God. Quakers. Quakers is correct. And your only pass, the uh, novel Maurice, was written by a chap called E.M. Forster. Uh, you have a total now, Sarah, of 21 points. And next in the chair, Pat, again, please. And, um, Pat, you start out with 11. 
points. And the score to beat, as you have just heard, is 21. Let's see if you can do it. Here we go. Jive, Jitterbug and Lindy Hopper, once popular energetic forms of what leisure activity? Dance. Yep. Which future British king married his second wife, the Italian Princess Mary of Modena, in September 1673? James II. Yes. Which drug obtained from the bark of the cinchona tree was the only known treatment for malaria for 300 years? Quinine. Yes. What Hebrew name that means a booth is given by Jews to their autumn harvest festival, which recalls the 40 years the Israelites lived in tents in the wilderness. It's known in English as the Feast of Tabernacles. Sukkoth. Yes. Who left parliamentary politics in 2017 and took up the post of editor of the London Evening Standard? George Osborne. Yes. What name is given to the milky white fluid found in plants such as the rubber tree that oozes from any cut to the tree bark and coagulates when it's exposed to air? Latex. Yes. What word that comes from the Greek for rule by the few means government by a small group of people? Oligarchy. Yes. Which place in Cumbria is the principal town on the River Kent? Kendal. Yes. In what outdoor sport has the bully off been replaced with a pushback from the centre spot at the start of a game? Hockey. Yes. Whose symphony number no. eight in E flat is sometimes called the Symphony of a Thousand because of the large number of musicians needed to perform it? Mahler. Yes. When Penguin paperbacks first appeared in 1935, they were colour-coded to indicate a particular type of subject. What genre of novels did a green and white cover denote? Thrillers. Crime. Which song, a number two UK hit in 1970 for the American folk trio Peter, Paul and Mary, was written by John Denver? It includes the line, so kiss me and smile for me. Leaving on a jet plane. Yep. Who stars as a lone horseman dressed as a preacher in the 1985 film Pale Rider? Clint Eastwood. Yes, in which Middle Eastern country on the Mediterranean are the mountain ranges known in Arabic as Jabal Lubnan and Al Jabal Ash Shaki? Jordan. Lebanon. What name does the aging minor Spanish nobleman Alfonso Quijano give himself in a well known 17th century novel? El Cid. Don Quixote. What is the popular name for the welfare service that provides cooked food for the elderly and houseboned who can't cook for themselves? It was begun by the Women's Voluntary Service in 1943. Meals on Wheels. Yes. Which former member of the Beatles painted Yellow Linda with piano in 1988? George Harrison. Paul McCartney. What is the particular quality of an Italian wine described as secco? Dry. Yes. Which Scandinavian country switched to driving on the right-hand side of the road at precisely five o'clock in the morning of the 3rd of September 1967? Sweden. Sweden is correct. Yep. No passes, Pat. You've now jumped up to 26 points. <laughs> and finally into the chair, Jody. And... Uh, you start out, Jody, with 14 points, but the score to beat has now risen to 26, so let's see if you can do it. Here we go. The storming of which Parisian prison on the 14th of July, 1789, is celebrated annually in France? The Bastille. Yes. Ian H. Watkins and Lee Latchford Evans are the male members of a vocal quintet that had 14 consecutive UK top 10 singles between 1998 and 2001. What's the group called? Steps. Yep. Which river that reaches the Indian Ocean in Mozambique was described by Rudyard Kipling as great grey-green and greasy? Pass. What name is given to the large open weave knit used to make some stockings and tights? Fishnet. Yes. In which city did Samson kill 3,000 Philistines and himself by pulling down the pillars in Dagon's temple? Uh, pass. The Clark Newman Noggs, the milliner Madame Mantellini and the jovial Cheeryville brothers are characters in a Dickens novel. Which novel? Pickwick Papers. Nicholas Nickleby. In what county is the Goon Hilly Downs satellite tracking station? Its first communications dish was built to link to the satellite Telstar. Cornwall. Yes. What coffee liqueur from the Caribbean has a name that is Spanish for Aunt Mary? Uh, Tia Maria. Yes. Which composer, who was born in Austria in 1732, is known as the father of the symphony? He wrote over a hundred of them. Haydn? Yes. Which actor plays the title character Robin Longstride in the 2010 film Robin Hood, directed by Ridley Scott? Russell Crowe. Yes. Which fruit, eaten as a vegetable, is a courgette grown to its full size? Cucumber. Marrow. Which Russian empress founded the Hermitage Art Gallery and Museum in St. Petersburg in 1764 as a court museum? Catherine the Great. Yes. Long-haul air passengers are at increased risk of the medical condition DVT. What do those initials stand for? Deep vein thrombosis. Yes. What word for a clumsy person comes from the Yiddish for block or lump? Clot. No. Klutz. 
Geoffrey Archer's 1996 novel, The Fourth Estate, is a fictionalised account of the battle between Robert Maxwell and which fellow media tycoon? Rupert Murdoch. Yes, what name is given to the collection of texts recording the history of England, first assembled in the reign of Alfred the Great and with the last entry dated 1154? Uh, pass. Which former Manchester United and England footballer was sacked as coach of Valencia in March 2016? Sorry, could you repeat that? Which former Manchester United and England footballer was sacked as coach of Valencia in March 2016? Ryan Giggs. Gary Neville. Whose television roles include Fusilier Dave Tucker in Soldier Soldier, the porter Jimmy Powell in Casualty and Geordie Keating in Grandchester? Uh, Robson Green. Is correct. Three passes, the, uh, the name given to that collection of texts recording the history of England, the Anglo-Saxon Chronicles, Gaza, the city where Samson destroyed the temple and himself in the process, and the great grey-green greasy river was the Limpopo. Jody, you have a total of 25 points. Which means Pat has won! <laughs> Close run thing. Let's have a look at all the scores. In fourth place with eight points, Nifty. Third place, 21 points, Sarah. Second place, 25 points, Jody. First place, 26 points, Pat. And she goes through to the semi final. If you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more masterminds. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>